afternoon guys uh, today we will discuss alteration of uh, memorandum of association and alteration of articles of association see as we know that in a memorandum of association that is known as memorandum generally there used to be five clauses the name clause then the registered office clause then the object clause liability clause share capital clause and in case of the one person company the sixth clause is about the nominee clause okay now uh, how this alteration will be done or is it alteration is possible you know how nicely how meticulously taking care each and everything you have drafted the uh, you know the uh, memorandum of association or articles of association आपने एक कंपनी का नाम रखा बहुत सोच समझ के सारे से एडवाइज करके बट मे बी इन फ्यूचर इट यू विल फाइंड दैट इट इज़ नॉट सुटेबल यू हैव इस्टेब्लिश्ड ए ऑफिस ए पर्टिकुलर स्टेट विद सो मच एक्सपेक्टेशन बट विद द पैसेज ऑफ टाइम यू वांट टू चेंज दैट ऑफिस आल्सो सो एनी थिंग दैट यू हैव मैंसेंड इन द आर्टिकल्स ऑफ एसोसिएशन और मेमोरेंडम ऑफ एसोसिएशन इफ़ यू वॉन्ट टू चेंज दैट इज़ नॉन एज एल्ट्रेशन alteration of articles of association and alteration of memorandum of association alteration of memorandum of association is under our section 13 of the company act and the alteration of articles of association under section 14 of the company act 2013 now <clears throat> how the alteration will be done and for that there is section 13 subsection 1 that we have read in even in our earlier class also that says that alteration of memorandum is possible is through the special resolution passed by the company what is special resolution section 114 that talk about ordinary resolution and the special resolution and with the section 115 that talk about special notice so for the uh, special uh, you know uh, that resolution three conditions are there that there must be notice that special notice in that particular format and then the requirement of number of vote in the favor of the resolution is that if there is any vote against the resolution then the number of vote in the favor must not be less than 3 times the number of vote against the resolution okay so that is the requirement and then the remaining subsections like section 13 2 or 3 4 etc they prescribe that the special method or special procedure or special requirement in case of different clauses that mean section 13 1 are applicable for every amendment whether it is object clause amendment or the name clause amendment or the registered office clause amendment or else but the specific requirement of other clauses like the name clause ke sath kya hoga uske sath object clause ke sath aur kya requirement hogi that is under the you know our section uh, the uh, 13 subsection 2 3 etc <coughs> now see the special resolution is the necessity on part of the company that the company through the special resolution can initiate but ultimately i will take your question also we say but ultimately the uh, you know regarding question that you have to sir you forgot to start the recording uh, see uh, the recording here is i am not getting any option when i click on the three vertical button but i record with i am recording with my mobile phone okay if uh, you have another option or uh, anything else from there also if you want to record that would be much better for me okay yes <clears throat> back to our uh, uh, you know the discussion so that is the requirement but ultimately as we said earlier also you know that these are the uh, articles and the memorandum are the fundamental document constitutional document public document and that's why under section 7 subsection 1 we read that first 
uh, you know before incorporation memorandum and the articles has to be submitted and then under section 7 clause uh, subsection 2 uh, the registrar has to register so the purpose is that these document will be registered and any person who want to deal with the company or any person who want to purchase the share or other type of the activity uh, if anyone want to uh, do with the company can go to the registrar office there is a, some fee that fee can be paid and he can inspect okay but suppose any change the uh, you know the uh, the company want to make special resolution yes section 13 subsection is making that possible but how the people will know unless and until those changes will be registered in the company's uh, you know com uh, registrar of the company and so there is the whole process that we have to discuss okay for that uh, the first i am taking the change of name clause for the change in the name clause we have to discuss section 13 subsection 1 section 13 subsection 6 section 13 subsection 2 section 13 subsection 3 and section 13 subsection 10 because section 13 subsection 10 says and that gives the hint that without following the procedure the change would not take it effect okay so procedure we have to follow and that has to be registered now for the uh, the first the change in the name clause the first requirement is that the company has to pass with respect to the new name the resolution that they want to change then the second is uh, section 13 subsection 6 can any of you read section 13 subsection 6 yes please any of you do? I just shared the screen screen is before you you have to read it Abhishek Yes, read. Section 13, clause 6, they have provided in section 64, a company shall, in relation to any alteration of its memorandum, file with the registrar, sub clause A, the special resolution passed by the company under subsection 1, sub clause B, the approval of the central government under section uh, under subsection 2, get the alteration involved in the case in the name of the company. Yeah, thank you Abhishek. So uh, you leave for the time being save as provided in 64 where there is an, some procedure with respect to that. Generally with change in the name two things has to be done. First the special resolution has to be passed by the company and for the special resolution section 13 subsection 2 has to be followed. Okay and then the approval. How the approval uh, will be uh, you know uh, by the company for that there is a procedure uh, the company has to apply for the approval and then with the approval of the uh, central government and that special resolution both things are needed then what you will do with these documents kya karoge in documents ka registrar ke paas jaoge so you have to go to the registrar and get it registered okay section 13 subsection 3 So then as we said that it is uh, you know the memorandum is a public document so this change will be made in the registrar of the company the new name has to be changed and then in your certificate that was issued by the registrar in that there was the old name so as a new usi ko kaat pe us pe naya name lik denge a new fresh certificate will be issued with new name okay and then there is the requirement that suppose the name has been changed 
बिकॉज वैन रजिस्टर्ड ऑफिस इज इस्टेब्लिश्ड ए फिजिकल ऑफिस एज पर द सेक्शन ट्वेल्व वैन यू रीड आई थिंक वी ऑलरेडी रेड सेक्शन ट्वेल्व सब सेक्शन वन सो टू द रजि वी हैव टू इस्टेब्लिश ए रजिस्टर्ड ऑफिस टू विच द कम्युनिकेशन कैन बी मेड एंड टू दैट रजिस्टर्ड ऑफिस वी हैव टू राइट द नेम ऑफ द कंपनी एट्सेट्रा देर इज आल्सो द रिक्वायरमेंट इफ देर इज एनी चेंज इन द नेम विद इन टू ईयर पास टू ईयर सो दैट ओल्ड नेम आल्सो वी हैव टू राइट इट सो दैट द पर्सनस हु आर डीलिंग विद द कंपनी मस्ट बी अवेयर दैट दिस इज द न्यू नेम अर्लियर दिस कंपनी वॉज नॉन बाय दिस पर्टिकुलर नेम सो इन दैट वे यू हैव टू रैड दैट सेक्शन Uh, you know that twelve, uh, that uh, subsection, uh, you know three also. So with that subsection three also, you have to read yourself. I'm not going to read here. Okay. Uh, then the this is the ch change about the name clause. Then what if uh, you know section four, subsection two has not been followed? That uh, talking about that what name can be. cannot uh, be taken like the name that the company have earlier been incorporated with that name so if any non compliance will be there and for that the section 13 uh, sub section 10 so now read section 13 sub section 10 Yes. So it has two things. The first thing that it must be registered, as I said earlier. Also, it must be registered because that is public document, and without getting that thing, because the, when uh, you know this thing is registered, so either the person know it or does not know it, it would be treated as a notice, the constructive notice. But the uh, information must be available in the public domain. and the second is that as per the provisions okay so as per the provision it must be registered means uh, only and uh, uh, in the manner it would be following like section 13 close to section 4 to etc then it would be get registered otherwise it would not be get registered so from section 13 sub section 10 we can draw these two inferences okay now quickly to the Uh, the second uh, change that is the change in the registered office so see uh, section 12 sub section 1 talking about that at one place you have to establish suppose you have established your registered office in the knart place cp or cp may be apne plot number uh, this is uh, imaginary i am taking suppose plot number 65 ke second floor pe aapka office hai now you want to say shift that uh, office from cp to uh, maybe from uh, you know like uh, लाजपत नगर और टू रोहिनी और सम अदर प्लेस दिस विल नॉट मेक एनी चेंजेस इन द मेमोरेंडम क्यों क्योंकि मेमोरेंडम में हम क्या स्टेट करते हैं केवल स्टेट केवल स्टेट लिखते हैं जहाँ पे वो रजिस्टर्ड ऑफिस होगा पर्टिकुलर थिंग वी विल नॉट मेंशन यस एज पर सेक्शन ट्वेल्व क्लोज टू यू नो दैट इंटीमेशन ऑफ द रजिस्टर्ड ऑफिस वी हैव टू गिव बिकॉज सेक्शन सेवन uh, में आपको पता हो इफ़ यू रिमेंबर कि आपको वो एड्रेस देना है जहाँ पे कंपनी से कम्युनिकेट कर सके टिल द रजिस्टर्ड ऑफिस इज इस्टेब्लिश्ड ओके सो व्हेन यू इस्टेब्लिश द रजिस्टर्ड ऑफिस ओके देन यू हैव टू मेंशन यू हैव टू इन्फॉर्म दैट दैट योर रजिस्टर्ड ऑफिस इज देयर एंड दैट इज एज पर द सेक्शन ट्वेल्व क्लोज टू Yes, sir. Abhishek, read twelve, subsection two. Sure, sir. Any change in the name of a company shall be subject to the provisions of the section two and three of section four and section. No, sub uh, section twelve, subsection two. Okay. Sorry, sir. Sorry. No issue. Yes. So section twelve, subsection one, talking about that uh, within a particular period of time, 
the office has to be established that capable of receiving and section 12.2 is about the verification verification kaise karte hain aadhar card ya bank mein hua hota us particular address pe aap us particular naam se letter send karo perfectly if it is received that mean that is verification of the particular and that thing you have to tell to the registrar that this verification ye verification ki information furnish karni hoti hai okay then in section 12 sub section 3 uh, also that what you have to write on the uh, you know the registered office wahan pe paint karna hai you have to affix the name and address of the registered office okay now i am correlating this section 12 with our change in the name clause because in the memorandum we will not write exact address of the registered office what we have to mention now we say only the state okay so unless and until the change of the registered office is from one state to another state it would not be considered as the or it would actually would not be change in the memorandum so simply if you want to change your registered office from suppose as i say plot number 65 second floor say you have to want to uh, take uh, this office to lajpat nagar this is not the change in the memorandum okay and for that the procedure is not under section 13 but under section 12 clause 5 okay so that you have to read yourself i am not going to discuss that hmm? or suppose you want to change in a particular state also there are uh, two registrar office and after the registrar of the companies uh, the next higher authority is regional director so if from one registrar to the another registrar of uh, uh, in the jurisdiction of another registrar then also you have to make the procedure but that is also something covered under the section 12 sub section 5 no need to go to the alteration of the memorandum procedure wahan bhi by and large it is like you know the special uh, resolution etc yes abhishek sir mere sawal tha mm -hmm. sir jaise company ka name change hota hai to uske liye naya certificate of incorporation registrar of companies registrar se milta hai to sir ye jo us pe date of incorporation hoti kya wo bhi badal jati hai nahi nahi date of incorporation no date of incorporation will not change date of incorporation will remain same okay sir okay. thank you sir because date of incorporation if will be changed what would be its consequence it would be consequence that that particular company come uh, or you know as a legal person uh, arises or you going to took birth on that particular date so what about the liability of the uh, the creditors who have uh you know entered into a contract before that date that would create much uh, you know problem so that is not okay uh, you have to think logically wo kitna problem create kar dega purane wale logon ka kya hai un creditor wo kahenge ha nayi wali company se responsible nahi hai nahi sir uh, lekin name change hone se company ki liability waisi rahegi jaise name change hone ke pehle thi right same thing same thing will be done that's why you know the register also has to register it this is making possible only because uh, we have to see both the side and if you remember your uh, jurisprudence classes that sociological school of thought that the law is uh, you know the balancing of interest one side we have to balance the interest of the creditors and the outsiders on the another side we have to uh, you know uh, take care of the interest of the कंपनी आल्सो की कंपनी को लग रहा है कि अभी इस पुराने नाम से ये बिजनेस नहीं कर पाएगी या रजिस्टर्ड ऑफिस चेंज करने से बिजनेस नहीं कर पाएगी सो दैट इज द बैलेंस दैट इट विल चेंज ओनली द नेम दैट इज बिकम पॉसिबल बाय वर्च यू ऑफ दिस सेक्शन 13 बट एट द सेम टाइम इट वुड नॉट लीड टू सच ए पोजिशन दैट वुड क्रिएट द कन्फ्यूजन और दैट वुड बी प्रिजुडिशियल टू द इंटरेस्ट ऑफ द क्रेडिटर्स ऑफ द थर्ड पर्सन ओके yeah <clears throat> so the change in the registered office or the change in the memorandum in case of the registered office clause is only when you want to change your registered office from one state to another state then you have to make the changes in uh, uh, the registered office clause and for that we have to dis discuss section 13 that is the special resolution section 13 section 13 section 13 
section 13 7 section 13 10 section 13 1 and 10 are the common that we have already discussed so come to the section 13 close 4 yes please uh, read a visit 4 the alteration of the memorandum relating to the case of the registered office from one place to another shall not have any effect unless it is approved by the central government on an application in such form and manner as may be prescribed yes so here also there is a requirement of the uh, you know the approval of the central government and when there is the uh, you know requirement of the approval then uh, you know we have to understand that why this requirement the requirement is like suppose you are the creditor of the company x aapne x company ko 1 lakh rupaye diye hue hain okay and the company uh, in the law will be treated uh, or reside at the place where it has the registered office okay so it will be you know near your jurisdiction when the company want to change this registered office to some other place then your interest will be or you will be prejudiced by this thing because the company want to change its jurisdiction so ab aapko case file karne wahan jana padega and that's why this balance is actually done by this that the central government is in the parental capacity have uh, the responsibility that they must inquire because on the company part the only thing that they through the special resolution company shareholders agree but what about the third person creditors who dealt with the company and for that you know just to keep this interest with this purpose the central government uh, permission uh, is required approval is required okay uh, you know for that uh, uh, how the application will be made we know in how many days it will be uh, uh, you know has to be decided and what things it has to be taken into the consideration for that we have the express provision here section 13 clause 5 someone may ask that the same thing of uh, approval is necessary for the name clause but there it has not been mentioned that how applica uh, in how many day application has to be uh, made and what interest has to be taken yes this type of the anomalies happen and that's why you know uh, in the last uh, uh, sections you will find that the power is given to the central government power is given to the state government then the anomalies power etc many powers has been given if this type of some gap has been remained and through that it has been filled okay so read section 13 subsection uh, 5 the central government shall dispose of the application under subsection 4 within a period of 60 days and before passing its order may satisfy itself that the alteration has the consent of the creditors debenture holders and other persons concerned with the company or that a sufficient provision has been made by the company either for the due discharge of all its debts and obligations or that adequate security has been provided for such discharge. Yes, so this is uh, on the part of the central government that they when the application is uh, moved because section 13 subsection 4 require that central government uh, must approve but for that approval the central government must get any application and in that application the central government uh, has to inquire that what are the creditors where where their liability has been any provision has been made or not after satisfying making this thing and this thing has to be done within the prescribed time here under section 13 5 about in the 60 days uh, you know they have to uh, give the approval if the approval is given then only it could, would be possible otherwise it would not be possible because uh, the government cannot do that because the company people want they can do because there are the creditors also their interest would also be affected when the company want to change its registered office that means the company would change its jurisdictional jurisdiction okay yes <coughs> now uh, the next is that after this special resolution and this approval again uh, you know the company have to go before the uh, that uh, 
uh, you know registrar office section 13 subsection 7 and the registrar has to issue the new certificate okay section 13 subsection 7 So that means you know as per section 137 the all the things shall register that detail that uh, this office now from this state to that and the new certificate will be issued because there would be the change in the state name where the company uh, will have the registered office okay. Now the third one is about the change in the object clause. The object clause is also a very very important thing because uh, the shareholder or the members have invested their money or took part uh, or became the member in the company with their reasoning that this would be the object for which the company will work and that would be profitable okay and so the object clause uh, should not be or suppose the company go for the IPO initial public offering and that was that the company have like uh, uh, in the object clause about uh, the electronic uh, items okay and then the company want to change from electronic items to the insurance sector or to some other uh, sectors towards the agricultural uh, manufacturing of agricultural uh, products okay now here the person who invested the money this change in the object will be prejudicial to their uh, you know reasoning their investment because they invested uh, with uh, the mind that uh, the object to which this company is registered will do the profitable business and so in the object clause also uh, you know this balancing of interest you will find where uh, it has to be done that if the money that has been utilized either they agree or if they don't agree then there must be some provision that by aap apna paisa lo aur nikal jao hum to ab ye kaam karenge hota hai na we humne to ab ye kaam karna hai you are not agree if you are agree theek hai agar nahi agree hai to aapne jitna paisa diya aur there must be some option for the exit okay so <laughs> that is uh, there so uh, section 13 uh, subsection 8 and section 13 subsection uh, 9 that talking about the object clause the change in the object clause section 13 10 sub ke saath jayega okay yes please read section 13 clause 8 section 13 clause 8 a company which has raised money from public to prospective and still has any unutilized amount out of the money to raise shall not change this object for which it raised the money through prospective unless a special resolution is passed by the company and sub clause 1 the details as may be prescribed in respect of such resolution can also be published in the newspaper one in English and one in vernacular of the company uh, and one in vernacular language which is in circulation at the place where the registered office of the company is situated and can also be placed on the website of the company if any indicating therein the justification for such change. Subclause 2 that licensing shareholders shall be given an opportunity to exit by the promoters and shareholders having control in accordance with regulations to be specified by securities and exchange board. Yeah. So see here the procedure. If the company uh, is not uh, you know uh, uh, collected the money or raised the money through the prospectus wo ipo wagaira kisi mein nahi gaye hain the money is what they have through their shareholders through their mem members that they already had then there is no requirement of going to section 138 okay simply they can follow the section 131 special uh, resolution or 139 ke according wo apna register karwa le naya wala okay but if they have uh, 
you know raise the money and they have raised money with old object and now they want to change and that money have not been utilized okay so in that case there is the procedure in that case it is saying that in that case the money has been raised through the prospectus and it has not been utilized it has not been utilized in that case object clause will not be uh, you know altered unless unless means these condition has to be satisfied only when uh, the uh, you know the object clause can be altered and for that one is that we are talking about the exit option but before exit option first you are you have to tell this intention to the shareholder as a general jaise general prospectus aapne issue karke sab logon ko bataya aise ab logon ko bataoge ki ab our company want to change or propose to change our object from this to this with some justification whatever you want to put okay so so how that uh, will be done obviously you will publish it into the न्यूज़पेपर वो एक देसी लैंग्वेज में भी होना चाहिए जैसे मराठी महाराष्ट्र में आपका ऑफिस है तो मराठी में भी होना चाहिए हिंदी इंग्लिश में भी हो वो जो होना चाहिए सो दैट इज द रिक्वायरमेंट दैट यू नो ऑल डिटेल्स सेल बी पब्लिश इन न्यूज़पेपर वन इन इंग्लिश एंड वन इन वर्नाकुलर तो हियर सपोज इन डेली तो इन इंग्लिश एंड हिंदी इन पंजाब इंग्लिश एंड पंजाबी इन महाराष्ट्र इंग्लिश एंड मराठी ओके and uh, uh, which vernacular language that have the publication that also specified here so we understood it and then after that uh, there must be the option that has to be uh, provided to the shareholder who does not uh, uh, you know accept this change okay the shareholder who want to accept it's very good that we have informed you and we are going to it but some shareholder will be that they will not uh no you know agree with you so they are dissenting in that case there must be an option uh, given to them ki aap apna paisa lo and you go outside okay then <clears throat> suppose uh, 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 in case the your company does not have uh, raise any money through the uh, prospectus ipo simply you can go to 39 or you have raise money through ipo but it already has been utilized ओके okay, वो काफ़ी साल हो गई उस पर बातों को ऑलरेडी हैज़ बिन यूटिलाइज देन अगेन थ्री थर्टी नाइन और सपोज यू हैव नॉट यूटिलाइज द मनी दैट यू हैव रेज थ्रू द इनिशियल पब्लिक ऑफर थ्रू द प्रोस्पेक्टस बट यू हैव फॉलोड द प्रोसीजर डाइसेंटिंग पार्टनर आपके में थे नहीं यू आर लक्की और इफ देर इज डाइसेंटिंग पार्टनर उसको भी आपने एग्जिट करवा दिया जो भी था ओके इन दैट केस वट यू विल डू विद योर special resolution you have to uh, reach before the registrar and in section 13 clause 9 registrar shall register and issue certificate yes read section 39 see the sebi ka to role hoga because you are saying दैट शेयर होल्डर विल एग्जिट सो एग्जिट का ऑप्शन क्या होगा और उस पर जो डिटेल्ड की जो चीज़ें हैं फॉर दैट से बी विल हैव द रूल्स ना सिंपली ऐसे ही थोड़ी कंपनी में होगा कि पैसे लिए खड़े हो यू विल गिव इट और जाओ भाई बाहर जाओ नहीं सो दैट वुड बी द होल प्रोसीजर थ्रू विच इज डन बिकॉज द से बी इज क्रिएटेड फॉर प्रोटेक्टिंग द इंटरेस्ट ऑफ द शेयर होल्डर्स सो इट्स इट्स यू नो द the balancing between the shareholder at one side and the company on the other side so dissenting partner also have some interest and that interest has to be protected by the sebi and so their sebi regulation are relevant okay <coughs> yes सेक्शन थर्टीन वन सेक्शन थर्टीन सिक्स सेक्शन थर्टीन टेन आर यू नो एप्लीकेबल फॉर ईच सेक्शन नाउ वट अबाउट यू नो दिस अदर टू क्लोज इज लाइक द लाइबिलिटी क्लोज द दिस पर्टिकुलर थिंग अबाउट दिस शेयर कैपिटल एट सेक्ट्रा सो दैट प्रोसीजर इज नॉट हियर नॉमनी क्लॉज 
nominee clause also you know the nominee can be changed but section 3 if you remember section 3 subsection 1 clause c after clause c there are two three proviso and in those proviso it has been provided that the the nominee can be changed okay so how the nominee will be changed because in the one person company it's not uh, uh, more than one person so uski consent to honi chahiye okay so section 13 1 actually it will not take place or it will not take part it with respect to the uh, you know the change in this uh, uh, you can say uh, the uh, the liability clause etc that thing are not provided here but with the time we will read that there is the procedure for uh, you know the change in the uh, name uh, sorry, sorry sorry not name change in the uh, like public company to private company uh, etc so only that much changes uh, are possible otherwise it is not possible we cannot say that special procedure is not provided that means section 13 1 uh, making it that the change can be done okay yeah now come to the next area that is alteration of the articles of the association uh, articles as we discuss under section 5 that articles means that uh, articles contain the regulation of the management of the company and uh, the articles can also be amended in the similar manner that we uh, you know amend the memorandum uh, before that I uh, got remember one another thing in the section 4 uh, we have read the last clause about that if the company is uh, uh, you know the limited by guarantee and it not having the share capital so in that case uh, it is not possible to make any persons to give uh, you know a divisible profit or to making him uh, participant in the divisible profit similar conditions is also here in the section 13 that uh, you know with that also the section 13 would not make it uh, change in the uh, that clause so that uh, uh, that uh, uh, outside persons in a company limited by guarantee will have the share in the divisible profit so this last clause also you have to read it uh, back to the alteration section 14 subsection 1 say that subject to the provision of this act and the condition contained in its memorandum if any if any okay a company may by special resolution alter its article okay so here also section 14 subsection 1 says that articles of association can be amended and the uh, resolution or the uh, the requirement is that it must be through the special resolution what is special resolution again you have to uh, keep in your mind section 114 uh, close uh, subsection 2 read with section 115 then this section 114 uh, close 1 saying including alteration having effect of conversion of a private company into public company a public company into private company see if you remember that uh, in case of memorandum we have not mentioned that what would be the nature of our company whether it would be a public company or private company we have mentioned only five things the name of the company the registered office the state in which registered office will be that object close the members or at the time the subscriber and their liability okay and the fifth one if the company have the share capital so share capital if does not have the share capital so not the share capital and in case of one person company it is uh, uh, no money now someone may ask that sir uh, in this case how you will determine that a particular company will be private company or the public company because minimum number is given but what if the members are eight liability is their written suppose is liability through the share or it is unlimited liability okay it is unlimited liability kya hai wohi hum bata rahe suppose okay for simplicity so sir would it be a public company or private company memorandum would not indicate anything with that nature 
in the articles of the association you have to read it so suppose in the articles of the association you have given your company as a private company yes of course that requirement has to be followed of the minimum number between 2 to uh, 6 you cannot make a company as a uh, you know the public uh, private uh, public company okay for that you know it would be always the private company but wo aapko mention karna hoga ki private hai ki public company hai and that uh, you know from the private to public public to private that you write in the alteration can also be change okay and uh, this is just by uh, uh, you know just showing you that uh, where uh, this thing of public company or private company has been uh, written so in section 14 sub section 1 the main thing is that the articles uh, of association are amendable through the special resolution but they are subject to the provision of this act so whatever the provision here under the section 14 like clause Uh, subsection two, three, etc. And if there is some other provisions, uh, also those will be, uh, you know, the have the overriding effect. And then if there is any condition, uh, but here it would not be any condition here because condition like you know the uh, liability, liability things or share capital type of the things you have mentioned, and because of that now it is not possible to change it. So that would not be done. because that would be possible only when first you change the memorandum so last two clauses that talking about the uh, liability and the share capital and if you want to change the uh, uh, articles and in that articles of association there is something with respect or that have some relation with the uh, you know those things that you have written in the articles of association so that would not be changed unless and until you first make the changes in the articles uh, of the memorandum uh, sorry <coughs> memorandum of association not articles of memorandum okay so with this uh, uh, we read that uh, uh, a private company can be converted into public company a public company can be converted into private company provided that where a company being a private company alter its article in such a manner that they no longer include restriction limitation which are required to be included in the articles of a private company under this act the company shall from the date of the such alteration cease to be private company okay uh, then the second proviso is that any alteration having the effect of conversion of public company into private company shall not take effect except with the approval of tribunal and shall make such order as it deems fit so these two proviso are basically you can say Uh, having effect on the section 14 one that it's talking about subject to the provision of this act so this is also provision that if uh, the uh, you know <coughs> it want to change in the articles of the association by changing the uh, you know public company into private company so in that case the approval of the tribunal is uh, has to be taken and the approval of tribunal tribunal here means national company law tribunal okay <clears throat> so uh, then uh, the next uh, subsection 2 that every alter uh, alteration of article under this section and copy of the order of the tribunal approving the alteration as per section 1 shall be filed with the registrar together with the printed copy of altered article within a period of 15 days suppose you have followed the procedure like in case you want to change public company into private company so tribal ke approval or in case uh, you know uh, other things uh, that is not required special permission so the special resolution then with that document special resolution or in the case if uh, some approval is required like in uh, the changing of the public company into private with these document one should reach to the registrar like we uh, did before the uh, the change alteration in the memorandum and the registrar uh, you know will make the changes because the articles of the association is also a public document okay so registrar will make the changes so those printed copies the new articles of the association and then uh, you know <coughs> uh, uh, this change will come into effect okay 
then subsection 3 uh, says that any alteration of article under clause shall uh, subsection 2 shall subject to the provision of this act be valid as if it were originally in the articles okay so it's saying that uh, the effect of it would be same like it would be uh, you know the uh, uh, these uh, this new article is as it was originally okay and the uh, you know no new certificate of incorporation is required because in certificate of uh, uh, incorporation only these three things is written name of the company registered office object etc two three conditions are written and that's why that new certificate uh, is issued that that is required otherwise you know the articles of the association there is no mentioning of the articles of association in the certificate of incorporation wo maine format aap logon ko dikhaya tha isliye uh, the section 14 is not talking about the certificate uh, newing or fresh issue of the certificate of incorporation because us certificate mein wo cheeze likhi nahi jati to nayi issue karne ki koi zarurat hai nahi but definitely any change that want to make in any of the modal article kisi se like it may be related with the proxy it may be related with the uh, you know the voting pattern it may be uh, with related to the directors etc whatever the changes they want to make that has to be made uh, that has to be passed first with the special resolution and then it has to be uh, you know put before the registrar within the 15 day registrar has to register it and then by virtue of section 14 subsection 3 it would be considered that it had been orally there so uh, that is uh, uh, all about the alteration of uh, uh, memorandum and alteration of the article.